Hello everyone, this is Agent Ross. Welcome to part 3 of the Zero to Hero series. Today we are going to talk about the node management for cooking in Black Desert Online. This is going to be a very quick video. Let's start from Portaferia. The only thing we will be getting from here is the dry fish. I have 7 nodes invested in this area to get the dry fish. You can get more or less, but 7 nodes are just enough for me right now. You will be using the dry fish for the fish steak and also for the organic feed. When you cook oatmeal for the media meal and the dark pudding, you will be getting blue procs as well. The best way to make profit from the blue procs is to use them to cook organic feed. Next we will be moving down to Calpheon. The only thing I can recommend you to get here is the wheat and the barley. If you have spare contribution points, you can also get paprika. In Velia, we will be getting all the farming nodes. The products you will be getting from these nodes are the potato, corn, chicken and egg. You will only be using the chicken for the dark pudding and the organic feed. Don't make grilled bird meat unless the chicken price is around 1k silver. If you need to feed workers, you can actually buy some already cooked ones from the marketplace. Let the others do the work for you. I will make a separate video about the things you can buy from the market and still make profit. In Heidel, we will be getting cooking honey, wheat and pumpkin. You will be using honey for the oatmeal only. If you have extra contribution points, you can also get flax and fleas. These are great XP for processing. In Valencia region, we will first look into the sand grain. In sand grain, we will be getting nutmeg and teff. If you have extra contribution points, you should also get the dates from the crescent shrine. Next is the shakatu. From this area, we will be getting figs, star anise, friki and nutmeg. And finally, we will be looking at Valencia city. In this area, we will be getting date, teff and the friki. We will be using all these products to cook Valencia meals. Most of the ingredients we get from the nodes won't be enough to cook for the long periods. Eventually, we will be buying most of these products from the marketplace as well. As I mentioned before, I will be making a separate video for the ingredients you can buy from the marketplace. In total, you will need 107 contribution points to get all these nodes I have mentioned in this video. You will also be using 100 contribution points to get 10 large farms. You can use the rest of the contribution points to get lodging, workshops, extra storage or just use them to rent the tools you need. I'm currently doing free one-on-one -on -one coaching, so if you like to know more about the game or life skill, please check out my Twitch channel where you can ask me anything you like. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video.